Well, hello, ladies. Uh, this is Jan, and it is Sunday, uh, September 8th, and I guess we're having technical difficulties because I was under the assumption that I was going to have that same uh, meeting number every single week, and apparently when I put that in, it said that it was invalid and I had to start over with a new, uh, new number. And so you probably aren't joining us right now, and that's, uh, so I'll just be kind of talking you through everything, and then I will load it into our Facebook page and everyone can watch it on replay, which means that I can't get anybody's feedback, but that's okay, because at least I can get it on, the, um, on our YouTube channel and I can get the information to all of you. So, uh, first of all, you want to see that I have no lips on, and uh, the reason is, is because I'm going to apply the new, um, that you can start ordering on September 10th, there is the new uh, lip product from Mary Kay, and you get all three of these in the one um, package, it comes in one package, there are three colors, and there is, uh, let's see if you can see, um, it's a red, a plum, and a rose are the names. And I just realized that I don't have my light on. So I'll be right back. So let's see, hopefully you can see me a little bit better. I know you won't want to see my um, uh, glass, the big, the glasses uh, weird eye thing, so I'll take them all when I'm looking at you, but I just wanted to let you know that um, we have some exciting things happening, and uh, first off, we're doing our 90-day blitz, and this is part of our 90-day blitz campaign uh, that we're going to be doing with our unit. We are also um, celebrating 56 years, uh, Mary Kay's anniversary, September 13th is the day, and so that's this coming Friday is the big September 13th. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some things like that. But I wanted to start out with no lip color so you could see. And then I'm going to show you there are three new colors, three new lip colors. This one's the plum, the rose, and this is the cherry. And uh, I am going to put the, the rose on today. Uh, I am going to be, when I finish this, uh, recording today. I'll be off to my bowling league for this evening and so it'll be fun but I was going to put the lips on for you so you can see what they look like. Uh, there are three different pieces that come in the one package and first you have your lip, the lip, um, let me call it the proper name, the lip, lip lacquer and then we have the sealer and then we have the eraser. So the, you put these two on, and then when you want to take it off, you put this one on, and, uh, and it takes it off. So I just want you to know a um, couple quick things about it so that when you get yours, you'll know that you can try it right away because you get to order September 10th. If you were a star last quarter, if you did your PCP for this uh, uh, campaign, then you get to order September 10th. If you didn't, you can order all the stuff I'm going to show you on September 15th, which is a Sunday, next, a week from today. It'll be next Sunday. So here's the thing about the lip lacquer. You've heard about these other companies that have had these uh, lip colors that stay on all day. So we have, um, we now have three colors in this. They are limited edition. And I'm just going to tell you that there's um, a couple things about our limited edition products that Mary Kay came out with for the holiday season. If you've been to a meeting recently with me, you're, you, I know you've already heard this, but I'm, it's worth repeating. So I am going to repeat it. And what um, several years ago, a lady named Andrea Peters, sales director with the company, she uh, came to a lot of different cities and she did some training on how to package gifts for the holiday season. And um, up to that point, uh, all the gift giving that we knew about was through Mary Kay. They would come out with a holiday limited edition product. And when they came out with the holiday limited edition uh, products, they were usually like a big bundle. And the bundle would include um, like, um, oh, different, different layering of perfumes. And 
And so there might be a lotion and a shower gel and the perfume. And, and so it like the bundle in order to do that, it would be like 50 to $75. And, and then some of the bundles they put together were even higher than that. Well, Andrea Peters told us that there was a different way to do it. She is a pretty genius marketer. And her whole point was that you needed to make the product look like a present. As you can see back here, these are some of from her ideas. These presents back here, you make it look like a present, number one. And I was somebody who would give presents away and go, I don't do bows. So just be a plain box. And uh, for years, I did that. And, and then... Um, for years, I would have my one friend who did make beautiful bows. I would try to get her to teach me, and every year she would teach me again, and then every year I would forget how to do it. <laughs> and it just seemed really complicated. So Andrea Peters taught us how to make these really simple, beautiful packagings. Um, and of course, part of it, you can see the boxes and put the boxes together to make them look cute. You put the different uh, patterns together and things like that. But her main point was that everything needed to be 25, well, not everything. The majority of the presents that you get ready and package up to sell to customers should be $25 to 15, 15 to 25, maybe even 12 to 25, but all in that bracket so that people would buy multiples of gifts because uh, when you buy a gift for your girlfriend, when you buy a gift for Secret Santa, when you buy a gift for uh, your sister, uh, you know, just all the, you know, teenagers, things like that, you're going to spend between 15 and $25. And so it was all about the price point and making it look like a gift. So that was the key to making this thing work. Well, She's been talking to Mary Kay and she told us that she's been talking and talking and talking and somebody finally listened to her. Somebody finally listened. And what they um, have determined is that yes, indeed, we need gifts that are between 15 and $25. And so guess what? Yay, that's what they did this year. Now, I have no idea when it's a limited edition item, how many the company actually makes. And when it's limited edition, for all of you that are new, what that means is the company only makes a certain amount. And when that amount is gone, when all the consultants have ordered that supply, they don't make anymore, so it's over. And uh, Cheryl Steinman told us there's uh, the Mary Kay Piggies. The Mary Kay Piggies are the people who are prepared, they're waiting, they're thinking like a retailer, they've been in the company, they know what they wanna do, and what they, what they do is as soon as these new products are available to order, they order a whole bunch. And so when I show you this, you're gonna see why, and I want you to know, I want you to hear me loud and clear, there's a few things that I think are going to go fast. So the first thing that I wanted to tell you about were these new lip things. Now we have had people wanting these and talking about these over the last maybe a year to two years, probably for sure the last year. You know, we've had different um, lip lacquers and different uh, lip products that were supposed to stand longer. However, they weren't like these other companies that have like the, the process. And so now the company has come out with the process. And so what you have to do, what they recommend is that you um, have clean lips, clean dry lips, and uh, if you want it to stay on, I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing on there, clean dry lips are important. And when you uh, apply, you do not, they do not recommend lip liner, but you'll see the way the doe foot applicator is very firm, and it's a little different than our, our um, doe foot applicator. It's a little pointier, and um, and so this color right here, if you can see, this is the rose. And on some people, it doesn't go on real pink. Uh, it all has to do with your lips and everything. So we'll see how it, how it was. When I put it on, it didn't look real pink on me. And I think it was because of my natural lip color. Um, it doesn't look as pink. So I'm just going to apply this. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you some things before I start applying it. Because once you apply it, you have to let it dry. And then you can put a second coat on and let it dry. Then you put the sealer, the sealer on, and then it will stay on. And you can drink water. You can do anything. You can eat. And it won't come off. It'll stay there. But what I found is if you um, lick your lips, 
or if they touch, if your lips touch before it's dry, you gotta kind of sit like this. So I only had to talk like this for a minute because it's really weird and because uh, I have tried it before. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply right now and, and you'll see. No, it's really hard to not touch your lips and it's really hard to not uh, or to let it dry because, you know, your natural instinct is to like grow your lips together and you don't want to do that. You want it to dry on your lips first and uh, I'm going to just do this and uh, you want to let it dry, let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. And there's a water line that's inside that if you don't get it into that, it will look like you stopped your lipstick too soon. So I'm just going to say it feels really weird and you're going to let it dry, let it dry. And then uh, the longer it dries, the better. But I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on. Just because I want it to uh, really get on there. I think I did. Okay, now, now I really want it to dry, and once it dries, then I can put the sealer on, and then you're ready to go. So this comes in three colors, and once you get it on there, it's like there for a while, for a long time. And you can reapply the sealer uh, uh, throughout the day, you can reply it if you need it, and that just brings the shine right back again. And uh, you're gonna see, uh, once it's dry, the, the longer you let it dry, the better. The longer you let it dry, the more it's gonna set. And, uh, uh, okay, so this is crazy. And, So yeah, touch it and nothing comes off. So it's really weird because it doesn't come off once it's dry. Now, once you got it on there, you can take your sealer And then you can touch your lips. And you're good to go. So now I have lips, yay. And uh, I just wanted to show you that rather than put it on ahead of time because it's kind of weird how you, you, you don't want to get it wet while it's trying to dry and you don't want your lips to touch together. You don't want to stick because it's almost like they would stick together. It's very different. And so um, once you put the sealer on, it feels just like regular cream lipstick. When you put it on by itself, it feels dry on your lips. And, um, and so uh, for some people, it will... Um, 
sting a little bit when you first put it on, the color part, when you first put it on, there's a little tingle. Um, it does on me. However, we, Lynn tried it, my assistant Lynn tried it, and it didn't do that to hers at all. And, uh, but it stings for just a second, but then it doesn't sting anymore, and then it stays. So you have lip color, just like this, you have lip color for a long time. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The next thing I wanna show you, I need to set these aside because the ones that were mine, I wanna make sure don't get uh, touched by somebody else. And uh, uh, one of the things that you can do, we do have the doe foot applicators that you can get. So you can put the doe foot applicator in there and let people try it if you want. You can just get it yourself and wear it, talk about it and let people see the colors and then you might sell it just because of that so it just depends and uh so i just wanted you to see how wonderful it is okay now the other thing i want you to know is so the 10th is when you can start ordering if you were a star last quarter or you did your uh, preferred customer program uh for this so that your c customers will be receiving the uh let's see if we can get this this is the new book and they will be receiving this new book. Um, it will be shipping out or sending out soon. And, uh, and you have the um, opportunity to order it, uh, to order everything early. Now, the other thing that's on that order sheet, it's called um, Wild, no, not Wild, <laughs> can't even read. It's called Mad About Masking. And so the Mad About Masking, um, it is in a little package like this. It just opens up and there are four different masks in here. Each one is different. Each one has different ingredients in it. And I guess if you go to some of these other um, um, makeup stores, which I don't go to, or Isles of Beauty, which I don't go to, but if you did, you would be seeing some of these individual pots hanging that they sell for about $5 a piece. Well, these are individual little pouches or little pods, and um, the information I've been getting from the directors who have all been trying them is that usually each one of these you can get three applications, two to three applications out of it, and that you can just put in a Ziploc bag in between and save it, and um, you can take these apart and sell them individually, or you can sell them as a set. They're adorable for a stock and stuffer gift. This whole thing is only 25, and so again, they listen to the price point. Now, the other thing is, if you remember this being the shape of our old liquid foundation brush, and they, um, when they first came out with the charcoal mask, they recommended that we do the uh, liquid foundation, use that liquid foundation brush to apply the charcoal mask. Well, they have redesigned it, and when I first saw this, I thought it was just that they turned the bristles pink, but actually, if you, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on this, but it's actually one whole, um, it's like a silicone paddle, if you will, that you can take and dip in and lay your mask on. So this is the mask application brush that we now have. And then the other thing that the company did was they came out with three different perfume um, they're little purse size, travel size. You just lift the top up in spray. And it's three of our very popular perfumes. And it's the Cityscape, the Live Fearlessly, and the Forever Diamonds. And so um, you can get that. And then also with our um, Cityscape perfume, so there's the Cityscape in this. And then there's also the dry silkening oil in the Cityscape. And um, that is something that is a past. Uh, product. It's a silkening, dry silkening oil, so it goes on, and that is fantastic, and it smells wonderful. And then they have this, which is all by itself, and it is, um, if, if, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it is like whipped butter. It's like whipped cream almost. It is the smooth body butter, if you will, and it is in the Be Delighted. Now, if you are a consultant that's been around for a while, we had this Be Delighted uh, package several years back, and there was more products with it, but they came out with just the body butter in the Be Delighted. And so you, um, we can get that. So the other thing that's gonna sell out fast, because Mint Bliss Foot and Leg Energizer is one of our 
big time sellers, right? And putting this mint bliss foot and leg energizer on your feet and your legs. You can even put it on your neck and the back. It feels wonderful when you're tense and whatever. It kind of relieves that. And so this right now, limited edition, when you order this for $11, $11 retail, you pay $5.50, you get free socks with it. So you can, you can, um, you get free socks with it. This is going to sell out, you guys. These three sacks, they're only going to do so many. So what you can do is wrap it around and then get a cute little bucket or something and just set it in and it looks like the cutest little gift. And um, I guess you can turn it this way and it looks almost like a, a little cupcake type thing. And you put it in, you put in a little, these are just from the dollar store. They're little um, metal buckets or just little things like that. It looks so cute. So I just want you to know, this stuff is going to sell out. The other thing is that the company has, um, they came out with last year, there was a set of three boxes. There's a, the bigger box, the littler box, and the littlest box. And um, I have things sitting on top of them on my um, shelves over there, but this is the littlest box. And they come all three together for $6 retail. So it costs you $3 to buy the boxes and they're ever so cute that you can put, oh, this one, you can, there's a lot of little things you can put in this. And um, I'm just thinking, huh, I was just trying to see if the little perfume will sit in. Anyway, these are gonna be so cute. What the company did different this year was that these boxes you can actually get um, the customer can purchase them for six dollars. They're literally in the um, in the in the lookbook for six dollars retail. So the person can buy the boxes themselves if they want. So all these things are the price points are twenty five dollars and less. I'm just telling you, it's going to be a great year, but you're going to have to get in on it early. So what I'm going to recommend is that. Um, you really do the faces like as soon as you can start doing faces as many as you can use the profit from those faces um you will um be able to then purchase your holiday line so that you can make even more profit um also i want to just make mention that the um the, the fall limited edition is still in this lookbook, even though it was in the previous lookbook. The fall limited edition is also going to be in, in this lookbook, which are the, the eyes and the other two lipsticks, the regular lipsticks. And of course, our new um, naturally, the new MK Natural skincare line. So all of those products are, are going to be available. So here's the thing. Between now and September 10th or 15th, do whatever you can do to sell as much as you can sell so that you can use your profit for this particular time right now to think like a retailer and get yourself set up for the holiday. Something is in my eye. And I know that um, it sounds so early. It's only September. Like, why would we want to get our holiday stuff? Well, number one, because they're available for us to purchase. Number two, because they're limited edition. And if you want to sell those for the holiday gift things, it's time to get them thinking like a retailer. It's time to start getting them purchased so that you can then get them packaged and you can start showing and you can get them ideas. If we don't show this stuff until December, then you're going to lose all your sales because a lot of people start Christmas shopping in September, October, November. I've put little things out before and said, hey, what 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 emoji describes you like if you're done with your shopping already and that's been like the beginning of october and i've had people say yep i'm done with my shopping already and i'm like whoa if we don't tell these people about things we are totally missing out on what's going on and um one year i thought if i have an open house um by you know early if i have like um if i get whatever's in my eye if i if i have um an open house really early it's gonna like cut down on my sales throughout. And it did just the opposite. I had more, that last quarter of the year, I had more sales than I've ever had. And so it really does not cut down on, it really helps you because you get more people that, um, that you can get. Uh, um, 
let's see what is there, something totally poking me in the eye. Um, I apologize, something's really in my eye. Okay, so that's the first thing. So then the other thing I want you to know is that um, we are, um, we are going this week, Monday, I'm going to, Tuesday, Terry's going to, and Thursday, I'm going to at my house. So Monday in Battle Creek, we're going to do a Lips and Chips. And basically what Lips and Chips is, is we're going to be showing the new lips. We're going to be showing the new fall lips. And, and we're going to let everybody do satin lips. And then we're going to show how to do all the things. And of course, we'll have the other things displayed too. But we're going to do Lips and Chips. And so from now until it's until Christmas is over, we are going to be talking about holiday gift ideas. We're going to be talking about thinking about um, doing things with holiday gift ideas and what to do with holiday, you know, how we can help you as a as their Mary Kay consultant, how we can help them purchase their, their gifts. And so that's one of the things that we're going to do. And, um, and so September 13th, we're going to do a live Facebook um, miracle set makeover. And um, it, we're, it's a closed group, so you have to invite people in. Now, I'm going to connect this then with our 90-day blitz. So we started talking last Sunday about a 90-day blitz. And what that entailed was you setting a goal that made a difference for you. You got to design your goal however you want to design your goal. And you get to think about um, what you want to do, what you would like to change, what you would like to... Um, what you would like to do more of, what you, you know, whatever it is that you want to change in order to create and to become who you want to become, to have the business the way you want to have the business, whether it is a, um, a personal goal or whether it is a, uh, a business goal, you get to determine the goal. You get to decide where you want to be on, um, in 90 days at the end of November. And so we're working with this 90 day blitz. And one of the things that we are also doing, in addition to these Zoom meetings on, um, on Sunday afternoons at three o'clock, uh, I'm gonna be doing different training. I'm gonna be talking about different things with what we're do, you know, working with. I'm gonna be doing every Sunday. I'm gonna do this at three o'clock. Um, I'm going to, you're gonna have to uh, bear with me for a minute because I thought we had a designated number that each week we could get in on and this week for some reason the number didn't work and it said it was invalid and I had to create a new number so I'm gonna find out from zoom people exactly what is so you're gonna all be watching this from playback so that's okay um, the uh, um, the other thing that we are doing is if you have Voxer v-o-x-e-r if you have a Voxer uh, group we have a 90 day blitz boxer group. And so if you would like to hear motivation, some type of motivation or some type of training or some type of little additional thing, then I want you to um, download Voxer. And all of that information has been put on our Facebook page. It's going to be in the newsletter. I did complete our newsletter and I apologize. It's been a while since you've seen a newsletter. It just got crazy. June got crazy trying to finish everything up. And then we went to a seminar in July and Terry finished up becoming a sales director in July. So we got our first spinoff director in July and, and then August hit. And um, I'm not sure what happened in August. And all of a sudden I thought I sent a newsletter out cause I had been working on it and found out that I didn't. And so um, I just want you to know that I, um, I do have the newsletter done. And it will be going out today. And um, so be watching for that. But if you don't know about Boxer and you don't know about Zoom, uh, you're going to see this on our Facebook page. And so please just call me. Hey, Kim. Kim just called Hi. this and I'm going to mute you, Kim. Can you, can you see how to mute yourself? Whoops. Um, you muted. Okay. Uh, hi, Kim. Uh, that's one thing with the Zoom. When we when a person first comes in, if they make any noise on, on their end, then they show up on the screen instead of me. And so I'm glad you could join, uh, Kim. I know this crazy uh, number thing. I'm not sure what happened with that. So I'm, I'm going to have to find that information out. But I'm really excited about this 90-day blitz. And the reason I'm excited is because um, it's helping me 
be focused every day. Like, what do I really need to accomplish? What can I, you know, and, and every day this week, I always say that when you are trying to put a, a large goal together or when you're trying to accomplish something great, that it's always funny to me what can come into our life. And uh, this was one of those weeks. This is one of those weeks that went all up and down and crazy. And so I, um, I just know that by having this 90 day blitz that I'm working on, it really helped me keep focused and try to get done no matter what was going on around me or I don't, I don't know if I want to say to me, but happening in my life, no matter what, I was still able to get some things done. And, and it's been kind of, kind of interesting. So, um, the one thing that we're going to continue to do, though, is is to give messages on the Voxer, the the group Voxer message. So if you haven't been getting those this week, or um, you haven't seen anything, and and whatever, then let me know because we need to get you added to our Voxer group. It is for, it is called the 90 Day Blitz, and and when you have Voxer, what I have done is I've turned off the notifications. So if people do beep in. I don't just, my phone doesn't ding, ding, ding. And, and that's what can happen if you have the Voxer in a group and people, it's like anything else when there's a group thing that people can ding. So you can turn that message off and by turning it off, um, you can then just go into Voxer when you have time, open it up and you'll see what, um, what the new messages are. You'll be able to just to do it. So Voxer is just a walkie talkie basically is all it is. And so um, you can, uh, there's a free, it's free. You can download the free part of a Voxer. And then when you want to talk, you just hold down the little button. And, uh, in fact, I'll bring it up on my phone just so you can see it. Um, okay. So Voxer looks like this and there's a little, let's see, if I go to 90 day blitz, and here's where the messages are. I just hold this little button down here and by holding it, then I can talk into it. It records my message and everybody that's in that group can hear it. Now, one of the things we haven't had a lot of is interaction with that this week and I really want it. I want you to know that if you're in the Voxer group and if the message um, touches you in some way, say something. If you've had a great win for the, for the day, say something on there. If you um, just want to ask a question, put it on there. Maybe somebody else has that question. So we can use this Voxer group in many different ways, many different forms. And I think that you'll really be happy with um, just feeling connected with it. I, I want, that's my goal is for you to feel connected with it. So, uh, so that's going to be great. And, um, and so, uh, let's see, new products. Okay, so September 13th, what we're going to do on Friday, September 13th, it's going to be at 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I, we're going to do a live, um, a live training, if you will, for our customers. And so we're setting it up the way that Michelle Cunningham set hers up, which is you ask the people ahead of time. And within the next few days, maybe by Tuesday even of this week, try to get as many people as you can um, and that you would have samples for. Because what we're doing is we're sending out a package. And in that package are going to be samples. And so for instance, we're gonna have the, a little, it's a little paper sample that you put the TimeWise 3D set into. This is the TimeWise 3D set and you put that in. Then we're gonna give them some type of a mask and you can do microdermabrasion, you can do clear proof mask, you can do the facial peel. And we have little papers that we've made up, oops, that one's upside down, for each one of those types of samples. There's also um, the microdermabrasion, there's a sample. It's got instructions with it. We're also gonna put in a color card according to their eye color. We're also gonna put in, and then we're gonna put in a $15 full size mascara. And so, well, our full-size mascara, it's going to go all in the package. There's also a little, um, oh, this one got wrote on, but that's okay. There's a little thank you. It's a half sheet thank you um, on how, what's going to happen. There, and I put in a receipt to say thank you for paying because what they're going to do is they're going to pay the $15 for the full-price mascara, and then they're going to get all the samples. And so 
we have this all set up. We have all the pages done. We have everything set for you to be able to do this and to send out the samples. And I just got these little um, bags here from, um, I got them on Amazon, that I'm just gonna put everything in, seal it up, everything fits in there, and I'm gonna address it and send it out. So what you gotta know is the samples need to either be handed out or, or sent out to the customer uh, prior, so that they have it in their hands and then they can try it on this live Facebook thing. They're gonna try the samples, we're gonna talk about the products and they're gonna do it and then they're gonna complete a feedback form. So there's two Google forms that they're gonna fill out when they, um, so they can get their samples and we know what to put in their samples. They're gonna go, we're gonna click on, they're gonna pay the $15 and then they're gonna get this Google Doc and they're in the, and it's just a link that you sent to them. They go in and they fill in the information. Um, it comes to me and then I will uh, make a PDF of their answers and send it to you right away. Um, I did that to Kim already. She's got somebody come you know, on it. So then um, you'll be able to put the package together, send the samples out. Then they'll come on live, and then after they try their samples, they will fill out a, um, a feedback form for us, if you will. And then we're gonna, you're going to offer your own special on that feedback. After they do the feedback form, you're going to call them or contact them however they want to be contacted, and then, um, you, then you can offer them whatever special you want for getting on. And so all of this is set and ready to go. If it's something that you would like to do, it's another form of being able to um, have someone receive a facial because my goal this month is going to be to pick 56 faces um, we've got with the for the 56th anniversary um, in your newsletter you're going to see this too but we've been posting about this is that we want you to pick a goal whether you do 56 items sold or whether you do 56 faces or 56 parties or uh, tell 56 people about the Mary Kay opportunity, uh, whatever you're, that you would like to do for 56, maybe it's sell $56 each day, maybe it's sell $56 each week, whatever you would want your goal to be, to pick something for 56 in honor of the Mary Kay's 56th anniversary, we're trying to have the best September ever, and um, there's hashtag no consultant left behind, hashtag no director left behind. Um, everything's about the 56 this month. And so we're really working with that. And, and being that I want to do that, I wanted to do one of these live Facebook um, events so that I could try to get a whole bunch of people on at one time where I just got samples going out to a whole bunch of people. And so you can pick whatever you want, though. Maybe you would want um, uh, 13 people to get on the um the live Facebook thing. Maybe you have enough samples to do only five people or six people, uh, whatever. Um, you can do that. So if you have questions, just call me because I'll try to explain it all much better um, to you directly and give you all the information. I did send an email out to everybody um, in case it was something that you wanted to uh, do with that. So, um, so I want to just let you know that this Friday, Friday the 13th, no, When's the 13th? September 13th. Is it Friday? Yeah. Yeah, it is Friday the 13th. <laughs> and um, it happens to be my birthday that day. I should know when my birthday is, right? Um, it's Friday the 13th, and that's when we're going to do 8.45 p.m. And so if you want to get in on this, then please give me a call. And um, and so I know why, I just realized why Friday the... I couldn't remember Friday was the 13th because I remember thinking, oh, I get paid on the 13th. Friday the 13th, but it's because the 15th is when we usually get paid, and that's on Sunday, so that's what it is. That's why my brain was not working right. Uh, anyway, okay, so I'm really, really excited, and what I really want you to know is this 90-day blitz, oh my gosh, you guys, um, it's so important, and last week, what we talked about on was how to get names, and so the I want to continue with that thought process. It's the names and the bookings that are going to make everything different. And so um, what if you have our training manual, which if you don't have it, then I want you to let me know that as well. Because I uh, was laying in bed this morning and I was thinking about, we have some people that don't come to the meetings. They might see this though, or they haven't been to a new consultant training or whatever. But I now have three training manuals. One is for brand new consultants, 
One is for um, like the next steps of that, like the booking, the coaching, and, and all the different uh, aspects of the business. And then there's also a separate recruiting um, training book. And I have those. And if you don't have those and you would like them, please let me know because um, I want to make sure that I get them to everybody. I don't know if I want to send them to everybody if they don't want them, but if you want them, I want you to have them. So if you haven't come to a meeting um, and to come to our training, then you might not. But if you are watching this and you want them, please let me know that. And uh, so let's talk about for a minute. We talked last week about getting names and that there's all these different ways to get names. If you still, if you kind of got into the 90 day blitz thing, but you still don't have any new names that I want you to call me like by tomorrow, because um, I want you to know that I want to discuss with you what you think would be the best way for you to get some new names. And we can go through the ideas and, and talk about the ideas with you individually, depending on where you're at in your business and what kind of names you already have. But you can always start with looking through your phone, looking on Facebook, looking, thinking about people that you know. And, and remember this, Mary Kay always said that um, she used the three foot rule, which was anybody that was in three feet of you, um, you could say something to them. And one of the things that I think what we are afraid of to say things is because we're afraid that people are going to see us as the salesperson or like you're worried about yourself. And if you, I want you to have the thought process of if somebody was standing next to me and they had this really awesome product that they used and that it would really benefit me, but they were really selfish and they didn't want to tell me about it. And then I found out later, like, wow, she looks gorgeous and I, and she's got a secret and she knows the reason why. And she never told me about it. Hmm. What would I feel like? But if this person was standing by me and they started talking to me and they said to me, you know, I've got this really awesome product and, and I would love to get your opinion of it because I care about you. And I would love your opinion of this product. Now you'd be under no obligation to purchase anything, but would you be willing to give it a shot? Just try it and then give me your opinion of it. I think I would kind of respond well to that. And I would say, yeah, now I wouldn't see her as a pushy salesperson. I wouldn't see her as trying to push something on me that I didn't want. I would see that as that she cared about me, that she wants to get my opinion because she thinks I would give her my opinion. And she has something wonderful that she wants to share with people. That's how I would see it. Now, if they did something different and they approached me different and they just were like, hey, you need to buy some of this stuff. And hey, you got to, here, I want you to see this catalog because you got to buy some of this stuff and, and you need to be using this because like, look at your skin. I mean, then I might be offended. So it, it's all about our approach. And if we really care about the people and we really just want to share our product, then it doesn't have to be pushy. It doesn't have to be scary. Um, but there are lots of ways to get names. And I want you to know that I'm here for you. And we have a lot, you know, your recruiter, uh, if you're watching from Terry's unit, Terry, we're all there to help you. We all want to make sure that we're all successful together because it's you and I together that make it all work. And so um, I want to make sure that we, that you know that. So then that once we look at how you're going to get the names, then we can look at how you're going to call them back and how you're going to book them. And I think I'm going to do a separate training. I'll do a separate video training on that and I can discuss some things. But in the meantime, what I'd like to do is discuss it with you. Like, let's talk about what you would be comfortable doing because I know some people are introverts. Some people are extroverts. Some people are very seasoned in business. Some people are brand new and it really does matter. Like, I don't think the same script works for every single person for every single thing. I think it's learning more about yourself and how you deliver well and how you feel comfortable talking to people that's going to make it even better for you. 
And so rather than trying to give you guys just a script that's like a blanket, everybody needs to use this type script, I think it would be better if we did some talking and some role playing maybe even, but more so just talking about what can work for you. So, um, so I wanted to share that with you. And then the other thing is this, is that coaching. Um, we're going to be getting into some things about coaching too, because um, it depends on um, whether you are um, working with a facial, whether you're working with a skincare class, whether it's a skincare class that was booked and she just booked a skincare class, but she's never been to one, where if it's a hostess where she's already been to a skincare class and this is like her second appointment, I think all of those things, you need to do something maybe just a little bit different because it depends on where it came from, how it's booked and what to do. And, um, but the key is, is communication because coaching is nothing more than being on the same page with somebody. Coaching is just giving them info enough information so they feel informed where then you I guys are on the same, you know, we're on the same page. The first, me as the consultant and the person who's coming to the facial, the class or whatever it is. So coaching can be just thought of as communication because commun it's just about communicating and reminding. And this is the main thing about coaching is that the person that's going to come to the appointment, she's going to hold the appointment or come to the appointment. She um, needs to be reminded. And I got to tell you, I'm a busy person. I write things in my date book and I can, I, I, I know we talk about this all the time. What, the people I'm around all the time, like squirrel, because I can get distracted so dang easy. And I can think, I can look at my date book in the morning and go, oh yeah, I got to be somewhere at two o'clock. And then noon hits and at noon, something crazy goes on. And all of a sudden, then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be somewhere. What time is it? What, what are, where should I be? And I know I should be more on top of things than that, but that's how life is sometimes. So I think that it's really important that we send out reminders and just know that if, if somebody has booked an appointment, then they have to be reminded of it. And I love getting messages from like doctor's appointments and things like that. They're like, oh, by the way, you got your doctor's appointment tomorrow because, oh yeah, it's just another trigger to remind me I need to go to that appointment. And so I just want you to know that it's really important to remind people. And whether it's the day before, whether it's like two days before and then the day of, um, you could ask the person even, like, um, how many reminders do you want? Do you want a, a, like a couple days before and then the day of? Because I'll send out a reminder however you want it. And, and that's just, again, communicating. So coaching does not, again, just like booking, doesn't have to always be the same, but it has to be communication. And so, um, uh, you know, with coaching, if it's, if it's a facial, you're going to be diff different, but don't be afraid to ask, you know, how often do you want to be reminded and, you know, or how many times do you want to be reminded? Um, you know, and, and I would laugh and say, you know, are you like me where it, it's helpful if I get something the day of as well as a couple days before? Great. Then, then I'll send them to you. You know, I just want to, um, help you remember. So, um, but, uh, if it's a, if it's a hostess, whether she's had a party before or if she's booking her second appointment, the key is to find out how much she's working for and is she doing outside orders? Um, does she have people that she's showing a catalog to? You know, there's just communication about what she wants so that you guys both know what she's working towards so you can help show her how to get that. Um, I think sometimes the reason we come to dead ends with appointments and we don't get people to do more or we have disappointments is because we haven't communicated well enough with the appointment. And so most of the time when we have, when we are disappointed is because we don't have enough appointments. And so um, on our books, because it's not about whether people are going to postpone or cancel, they will. It's not a question of will they, they will. It's more of a question of what can I do to stay on the same page with that person so that I have the least among the postponements. But if I need to hold a certain amount of appointments a week, 
or if I have a real goal that I'm working for, it really is up to me to make sure that I have enough appointments booked so I'm not disappointed. And, um, and Judy Kawicki taught, has a whole tape on about um, how to be not, it, so that you're not disappointed, have more appointments. And so it, it's, it's really an important part because people are gonna postpone. I mean, we just this last week, um, I got a call, um, a message the day before about my mom's foot a doctor appointment. She goes to the foot doctor. And I called her up and I said, do you need this done yet? And she said, no, I need it in about two weeks. And so I called them back the morning of, I called them back and said, look, my mom doesn't need this appointment. She needs it in about two weeks. Can we reschedule? And they said, sure. So if you do that with doctors and everybody else, it's, it's okay that they do it to you. It's not personal. It's not that they don't like you. And, um, and so when we got enough appointments going, we, you, you're going to do it knowing that, okay, everything's going to get juggled. Like I put in a, my weekly plan sheet, but it doesn't mean that that's exactly how it's going to go. And it doesn't mean that I have to be disappointed if it doesn't, or it doesn't mean that the business doesn't work because the business works. It's just that it works just like every other business, which where there are clients or customers or patients in the doctors, you know, it's patients, but it's the same type of idea where they're constantly just juggling the schedule. And the doctor doesn't sit around and go, oh, nobody likes me, uh, maybe this business doesn't work, even though I went to school for, you know, eight years to be here. No, they don't do that. They just go, okay, well, next patient, come on, I'll just keep getting them all, you know, they overbook and then they just keep shuffle them around. And some days they're way overbooked and that's when you sit in the waiting room and other days they're not overbooked and you get to get in and out. So, um, so I just wanted it. you know, I was thinking about the whole coaching thing and it was like, well, there's different ways and, and we have all kinds of methods that we can show you, but understand it's communication. It's just simple communication. And that's what we're always trying to do is just be better communicators with the people that we want to offer our product and our offer and our opportunity to. So whether we're trying to, you know, get new recruits or whether we're trying to, you know, just get new customers or whatever we're trying to do. It's just really about communication. So uh, I hope this helps. Um, I am going to um, uh, unmute Kim for a minute because Kim actually did get to get on. She um, saw my message, I guess. And, uh, and I'm going to unmute you, Kim. And, um, and if you would like, you can share with us um, if you have a takeaway or you want to add something more to the, uh, the talk today, if you'd like to add something more, then please do. Oops, wait a minute. Okay, you're unmuted. There you go. Yeah, okay. I'm mute. I muted myself. That's why you couldn't do it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, I try to talk louder. Um, right now, you're not coming through on my end very loud. Um, I don't know how to adjust my volume right now. Um, can you talk louder? Okay. Can you hear me now? Hopefully. Maybe it's just my computer. So hopefully they can. Okay. Um, well, I came in the tail end. So just, um, um, just reminding me to make sure that, um, doing the, you know, the follow up with the people, hostess and reminding, uh, just staying in contact with them and communicating. Um, that's the big thing is, is making sure that we're coaching. And so, um, so that was a good reminder for me. And um, then also just the, the 56, coming up with the 56 and rolling with whatever you come up with, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I, um, yeah, I, I got to tell you that 56, it's, you know, coming up and, and really tracking it. And I think it's going to be fun. Um, I have on, I have a big wipe off board over my desk and uh, I've got up there um, new faces. I've started by, you know, the new people that I facialed and uh, it's, it, I, and I can tell you this, even if it's not a brand new person, because this week, this past week, I've had a cust I've actually known this woman almost 40 years and she was actually a consultant for a while. Um, and then she just um, wasn't a consultant anymore. So then she became my customer. She wasn't my consultant, but she was in the business. We 
oh my gosh, 36 years ago, we were in the business together. And then she um, got out of the business for a while. She became my customer. Um, she was one of my consultants for a little while. And then now they go back and forth to Florida. And long story short, she's still my customer. And, um, but she has not had a facial in quite a while. And it's her birthday month. And so she sent me a message and said, I want my birthday makeover. Because that's one of the things I put in the birthday card is about the birthday makeover. They can come and get a better discount if they come for their birthday makeover. And she came uh, by herself. We did a facial, start to finish. She hadn't tried a lot of things in a while or ever. And she ended up getting... Um, over $300. It, the, she pay, she's paying me $300 and that was after the discount. So I think it, it really came to, and she got one product that she's never tried before. She was able to get one product half off and then she got 25% off everything else and she's still paying me $300. And so, um, so I'm counting her, even though I've known her for a long time, even though she's been in my file forever. Um, it's a new facial basically when they when they come and they start over with everything that's a new facial to me so I um, so I put her down even so I just want you to know that you know the when you do say 56 faces that's putting some kind of new product even if it's not all new if, if it's a current customer and she's never tried certain things and you get together with her you can count that as a face you know and uh, and so you can you know just know you can do that too so um, look Kim, thanks for sharing, and uh, all the other people, um, before next Sunday, I will find out about this whole meeting number thing, so that you could get on, if you're el you know, if you can, um, I, uh, I sent, I, I realized this at three o'clock, so I just sent out, um, knowing Kim was going to plan that, get on, that's why I sent it to her real quick, and, um, and, uh, and I couldn't text everything out, because I really can't do five things at once, but, um, and I, and just to see if she could, if somebody, if she got the number, if she could get on and she did. So we will, I'll find out about this whole number thing and find out if each week it's a different number, then I'm going to have to post it somewhere. I thought the way, cause I, I actually have the, the uh, Zoom Pro and I thought that I had like a special meeting number that was just for us that I could reuse over and over. So I will find that out. And, uh, and, and just, you know, know that you can, you'll be able to watch this and you'll be able to watch the replay. So please, please, please get on, um, enjoy. And Kim, let me ask you real quick. Um, when I, I had my volume down lower when I was recording in the first place and could you hear me normal? You can, okay. You're shaking your head. Yes. Yeah, so you could hear me normal. Cause I just got thinking, Oh no, I hope this thing recorded loud enough. Because I just realized my um, volume was down low, but maybe that's just for when you guys talk that I needed to turn my volume up. So, um, which I did. Uh, anyway, so you guys make it an awesome week. Monday I'm in Battle Creek. Uh, we're gonna do lips and chips. Tuesday uh, Terry's gonna be doing lips and chips in Jackson. So if you're near Jackson and you would like to go there, she's gonna be doing the same thing. And Thursday night here in Flushing at my home, I'm gonna be doing lips and chips again. And it will be, you know, for all the people here. So we have three cities um, and uh, that you can attend and be a part of and, and uh, come and see. We're going to have all these new things. We're going to have everything. We're going to have all the new stuff. We'll have it all there. And, uh, and you can see it in person. And, oh, my gosh, the body butter I have opened. And you'll be able to, you know, put some on your, oh, my gosh, it feels awesome. And, uh and, uh, and even the, uh, the cityscape oil, if you would like to see what that feels like. So I'm going to have all the stuff there that you can see what it's all about. And uh, in the 10th and the 15th are the dates. Oh, oh my goodness. September 15th is the end of the star quarter as well. So you got till next Sunday to finish up your star. And then on September 17th, so next week, the following week, um, September 17th, we'll be in Lansing for our star night. And that week of the 17th, we will not be doing a meeting in Battle Creek on Monday, and we will not do the meeting Thursday at my house um, that week. It will be just the 17th in Lansing because all consultants are invited. Uh, all consultants can come and and give a woo woo to all of the star consultants that um, you know that, that finish their stars. 
Uh, also, if you've moved up, if you become a new senior consultant or a new consultant, a new senior consultant, new red jacket, new team leader, whatever it is, um, you'll be recognized there as well. And also we will do our $100 Mary Kay gift basket that I give away and all the people that you facial um, share the opportunity with if they come they, they do not have to be present to win but if they come to get their name in and we'll have the drawing slips I'll send those out to you again and they'll be the drawing slips will be uh, where you fill them out at, we put them all in and we draw out and somebody wins a hundred dollar gift basket so uh, and it's all products so it'll be cool and they'll be excited that they get it so um, uh, we'll be doing that on the 17th as well and uh, so make it an awesome week and look at I've been talking the whole time my lips are still there just like they were when I first put them on and uh, at, yeah Kim at the beginning of the meeting I had no lips on so I put the this is the new um, the new one that's the lip lacquer this is the new rose and uh, and I put it on and and put the sealer on and now I'm gonna head to bowling and we'll see when I get back if it's still there so um, anyway have a great one talk to you soon bye bye Now I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs>